how everybody doing hope everybody out there having a happy thanksgiving those of you guys that are home with your family happy for you guys those of you on the road trucking you know try and make it trying to make the best of it and you know keep on trucking and do what you got to do um, today I want to talk about um, the best practice to use to prevent yourself from locking your keys inside your truck um, and this is something I start doing a few years back after I locked myself I locked my keys um, inside my truck uh, so I start so what I do I make multiple copies of my keys and um, I'm coming but I'm coming here by my truck here I make multiple copies of my keys so this is my truck here uh, I have three copies there is I have two here right so this one I put in my wallet right this one goes in my wallet and this one this one I use to put on my keychain I use this one to put on my keychain I use this one to start my truck right and uh, I have another key I have another key somewhere on my truck hidden on my truck right and I never touch the truck unless I really have to so that's truck that key that's hidden on my truck somewhere I'm not gonna tell you guys where the key is hidden right it stays there until I probably effed up over here <laughs> right or some something happened if something ever happened to to you know maybe I don't have my wallet or maybe I lost this key or maybe you know I'm I just don't have my keys on me I know that somewhere on the truck I have a key hidden now that's that's one way I prevent myself from locking myself out the truck but after I'm not sure if you guys saw uh, one of my videos I made of how to get in your truck if you haven't seen that one um, checked out check out my other videos and um, search for that video how to get in your truck when you lock yourself when you lock your keys on the inside All right so that video shows you how to get in your truck without using no key at all that's a very interesting video and I I came up on that idea when my cylinder my key cylinder was messed up on the truck I didn't lock myself out but my key cylinder was messed up and I couldn't get myself in because the key cylinder was um, was acting up so I had to take out I had to take out the cylinder and I actually repaired the cylinder I didn't change it because I tried to get a new one but they didn't have none in stock because everything was on back order so I had to figure something out because I had a driver who who um, was uh, he was locked out of the truck um, and he was at a truck stop and I had to drive all the way over there and um, try and get him in and uh, I got him in but I had to play with the key a little bit to get him in I didn't figure out to get in without using a key right then and there but I figured out how to do that the next day when I get the truck in my possession I went and I was able to uh, um, figure out how to get how to get in the truck without using a key I, again I made a video about that so check that video out on my channel but yeah guys so the best practice to use when when you're on the road 
have multiple keys have three keys three keys is a sweet spot you put one in your wallet because you always when you leave your truck to go in a store or whatnot most of the time you always take your wallet but sometimes you forget your keys right very rare very rare you forget your um your wallet but just in case you always need to put a key hidden on the truck somewhere on the outside where you know nobody is going to find it but you right and you want to keep a key on your keychain that keys is what you use to start up a truck and you use to operate the truck on a daily basis and the wallet key is just an extra precaution um, step you use to help prevent yourself from locking yourself out anyway guys if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.